Right now, many of us have seen them sitting in cemeteries looking forgotten. Headstones from decades ago, dirty, unreadable or destroyed. Markers touched only by time. But students is being passed are giving them a second chance. This is part of a project for high school students and they started right before the pandemic. Dejanique, they're restoring history by restoring the headstones. 12 News reporter Christiana Ramos caught up with the teacher and students behind the project. McGaffey Cemetery is where this project all started. Three students with one goal to preserve their town's history. A lot of history lies within the cemetery grounds in Sabine Pass. The earliest recorded burial in McGaffey Cemetery was that of a 12 year old boy named Harris B. King, who died in 1873. There were a lot of the headstones that weren't there. You could see there was a plot there, but you would see a rock and there was not a lot of information. Then you would see that there were some uh, headstones that had been shot up. Hurricanes faded many of these headstones, including Harris King's. Mr. Hagendorn knew he wanted to get students involved with restoring the town's history. There was a rock that we actually had tested out. And when, when we were able to uh, etch onto the rock, I thought, we could probably do a headstone. So we started talking about that. The school shop teacher made a concrete frame with rebarb for longer lasting headstones and Hagendorn students etched slate for the inscriptions. We went on some internet websites. We found we found a findagrave.com. We started using that and we got a picture of an overview of the, what, they, what it used to look like here. We figured out the names and we went into deeper research looking for family members and what could have been on the grave originally. A project put on pause because of COVID. It's a good feeling finally finishing something good for the community. To keep the people of a small town still alive in some way. This is the only headstone that the students were able to finish this year, but Mr. Hagendorn is planning on keeping graphic design in the curriculum and the project still going in the future. In Sabine Pass, Christiana Ramos, 12 News.